What's up YouTube, this is Prince with ATP 101 and in this video I'm going to show you guys what's on my iPhone Jailbreak Edition. I have been promising this video for a couple months now and yes, I'm finally making it because I might update to 11.3.1 because this is iPhone 10 and if I use Future Restore, Face ID won't work. I'll explain that in another video but this video I'm talking about what's on my iPhone Jailbreak Edition. I won't go too in depth on the tweaks I'm just going to tell you their name and kind of browse over what it does because I have tons of video explaining them more in depth so yeah without further ado what's on my iPhone jailbreak edition so the first one is Anemone Anemone is a theming app or theming tweak so if I go right here tap on it and these are all the themes that I have in there I could just select and add and that's how I got this theme right here this one is called Lotus you can see the icons are different so yeah that's what I use it for that one is called anemone and then the other one is called battery percent X battery percent X if you look up top you can see the percentage of the battery in the corner just like that my phone is dirty but yeah you can see the percentage and also you can see the wrap around it goes all the way around the notch so that's called battery percent X you could actually change the colors and all that and if I double tap if I double tap you can see it's in low power mode right now I know you can see it much better and it's off so that one is called battery percent X and my other one is called BioProtect X BioProtect basically lets you lock whatever app you want to lock and you need your face ID or your thumb or your fingerprint basically to open it so right now, if I if I open up, if I, I got my messages, I have my messages locked. But when I'm on my Wi-Fi at home, it's open. So I could lock any app. So let's go to settings. So in fact, let's let me turn off my Wi-Fi. So let me turn off my Wi-Fi. If I go to open up, see that? If I go to open up my messages, it won't let me open it until I put in my uh, my thumb or my face ID so if I go to open up the my camera my pictures it won't open until I look at it so that's what BioProtect does and then the other one is called bottom control X bottom control X basically lets me get to control center that's control center but I could also get to it from the bottom just like that so bottom control X get the control center real easy because you don't want to swipe all the way up from top and then the other one is called boxy boxy is this is how I this is boxy right here so you see I have all these apps there and it, it just looks different so I have seven going down and five across so that's what boxy does and I could basically I could just swipe up like that and I get the controls and I could move them up and down and all that kind of stuff so that one is called boxy and then the other one is called CC support CC support basically lets me put um, my control center icons wherever if you look it's not regular see I got these all over the, there all over the place and I could switch them up however I like so yeah that one is called CC support Just let me move my control center icons wherever I want to and the other one is called Easy Switcher X. Easy Switcher X basically lets me delete out any app just like that. And another thing with BioProtect, if it's if it's BioProtected, then you won't see it when you go to your app switcher. It's just gonna be blurred out, so nobody could like see what's there. So yeah. And another thing with Switch um, Easy Switcher X, you could swipe down, you could kill all apps, you could respring and reboot just like that so the other one is called Eclipse X Eclipse X is basically dark mode so if I go to settings you can see I have dark mode and I could put it in a lot of different apps just like that so yeah dark mode Eclipse X and the other one is called fake clock up fake clock up it basically speeds up the animation of your device so if I go right here you see how fast that's moving so basically it just speeds up the animation you can go in there and set it up however you like how fast you want it but basically it just speeds up the animation and go quick those are moving right there so yeah that one is called fake clock up X that one is called fake 
clock up and then the other one is called fast unlock X fast unlock X basically let me unlock my phone without swiping up so if it's locked I could look at it and it just swipe it just opens up by itself usually you have to swipe up after it's open which I hate hopefully iOS 12 gets rid of that boom so that one is called fast unlock X and then the other one is called floating dock floating dock is this right here yeah, the dot just looks different. So if I open it up, you can see it just kind of floats down. I mean, if I go to Spotify and close it, you just see it just floats right back up. And you could go in there, you could change the colors of the background and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, that one is called floating dot. And then the other one is called Formula One One. Formula One One basically, you go to Cydia. Formula One One disables the Sauric repo because Sauric's repo kind of blocked the jailbreak for a little bit so Formula 1.1 disables Sauric repo so Sauric can't block Electra from working on Cydia so that's basically what Formula 1.1 is for and then the other one is called Full Screen X Full Screen X let's go back into Cydia you can see it lets any app that's not supported that's not supporting the iPhone X style it just basically fills the whole screen with it so this app full screen X does make all those apps that doesn't support iPhone X just add support and everything that takes up the whole screen and it works really really well so if you have the iPhone 10 jailbroken and you don't have this you're missing out because it works tremendously and then the other one is called iCleaner Pro everybody knows that one where is that it it's right here basically if you want to free up space on your device you can go in there hit clean and it just cleans up thousands and thousands of files that you didn't even know was in there boom gives you back like one gigabyte two gigabytes of free space so yeah i clean up pro it's a definite must have and then the other one is called intellix intellix is basically organized notification so let me go to my notifications real quick look at that now everything is in order I mean like everything is just it's just way better everything is in order it's nice and clean so all the Twitter and whatever this is all the information I have notifications I have right now but basically it puts everything in order hopefully we get this in iOS 12 and you could clear them and do all that kind of stuff so yeah that one is called IntelliX and another one is called not today Satan basically a tweet that blocks the Indian character from messing up your device. I remember Apple issued an update, but 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 if you wanted to stay on iOS 11.1.2, you might still get it. But this jailbreak tweak blocked that from coming to your device and messing up your device, forcing you to update. So this one is called Not Today Satan, and then the other one is called Peekaboo Premium. Peekaboo Premium basically lets you, if you look in the corner up here focus a little bit you can see the volume in the left corner so that's what peekaboo does basically just gives you the the volume instead of taking up the whole screen it does give you the volume in the left corner so yeah that one is called peekaboo premium and then the other one is called simple ls so simple ls or simple lock screen so if I go to my lock screen you can see the difference look how clean that looks so I have this whole setup right here just nice and clean. I got the time, the date, and the weather right there on the lock screen. So that's very really cool. And I think that weather is from um, Zen HTML. So yeah, simple LS, great tweak. And then the other one is called Tweak Compatible. Tweak Compatible is an awesome tweak. So you basically if you go to Cydia, and you search for let's let's, let's let's go let's tap on barrel right here okay there it is right there so tweak compatible basically tells you right down here if a tweak is compatible and as you see it says right there not working so that's what tweak compatible does it just tells you if a tweak is working so not all the tweaks because people have to report back and tell if it's working or not and then it just leaves it right there so that's what that tweet does really awesome tweet guys it's a must have 
tells you if the tweak is working for your device. And then another one is called Victrola. Victrola is a basically a music tweak. Awesome music tweak. So let's go right here. Library. Let's play a song. Let's play a, gotta find the right song. Let's play this one. Let's turn it re all the way down. If I go to my lock screen, you see there's no music controls. But if I swipe right, now you can see the music controls. And that's what Victrola does. It just gives you the the music screen right here. You can swipe right and you can skip too. And you can see that animation right there. You go back just like that. So that one is called Victrola. And then my last one is called Zen HTML. If you look at the bottom right here, you can see I have a widget. It's kind of hard to see because, in fact, let me switch this wallpaper real quick. Here's my. Now you can see it a little bit better. You can see the weather widget. So you see the time and also the weather. And that's done with Zen HTML. So that's the last one, guys. These are all the tweets I run on my phone on a daily basis. I mean, so these are 21 tweaks. Hopefully, you guys like this video. I've been promising it for a while, but I never really did it because I don't think none of these tweaks are my, my setup isn't really that crazy. But I just wanted to get this out before I update to 11.3.1. I'll be talking about that more in another video. So, hopefully, you guys like it. It's Prince with HTP 101. Rate, comment, subscribe. Peace. Thanks for watching.